period. Yeah, the uh, um, I was away. I was away for like uh, three weeks. I went to Italy and uh, had a good time there. But I really missed my machine. glasses I should be able to see uh, chat a little bit easier but still gotta still gotta bump up that font size I guess <laughs>
my main sequencing tools um, consist of Rene, uh, Rene version one down here. And um, I like to use um, I like to use shift register algorithms um, from disting um, because they can be uh, we can loop them extend the uh, the length of the sequence and everything and um, I like to use uh, stepped random from uh, wogglebug and my uh, whatever this is Intelligel Toolbox, I think it's called. It's, it's actually the, mid, the um, main heartbeat of everything. The uh, pulse rate there controls the tempo of the entire patch. So I probably should move this cable away from it because I don't really want it to change right now. <laughs> Maybe we'll get into that later. So I like to get um, patterns out of uh, grids. I usually have that thing uh, just in regular drum mode. Uh, but I like to use it to run. Right now it's running that way. Clicky, clicky sound. And um, I can also get some drum bits. Hey, radio in the woods. Um, I utilize the uh, trigger out from Renee a lot too. And um, I'm using dot over here for um, Euclidic patterns. And we've even got the abstract data going right now. That one controlling uh, the BIA if I do this. that I choose tends to be more constrained um, randomness. I don't like to have a lot of, uh, I like myself droney, you know? Um, so I don't have a lot of extreme um, changes in um, the signals that control my, um, especially the melodic sequences. And even to some extent the too. And of course I like to smear everything around with uh, different flavors of uh, delay and reverb and uh, cloud, cloud uh, shenanigans. I used to have a um, ornament in crime. I still do, I just don't know where it is. Um, and it's fucked up. Um, I was going to send it uh, to Caltech um, last year. <laughs> I, uh, um, I emailed him and was like, hey, I got, you know, this, this uh, ornament crime and the knob is kind of screwed up. And he's like, oh, well, I'm taking a month off. So I was like, okay, cool. I packed it away in a box. And I don't know where the box is. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like somewhere in my closet. I have uh, an ornament 
crime that kind of works. Um, and that I used to use a whole lot for my melodic sequencing because it's got a lot of cool um, tools for that. I haven't seen it in a year though, so maybe this, maybe I'll find it this spring when I do my spring cream. But I think a, a key for me is to have a kind of um, uh, thing I can uh, hang on to. With, with this patch right now, it's the, the DFAM and the um, kind of pulse from the Pro 1 that is giving me life. We're going to increase that pulse. Never used a PAMS. Um, I suppose you could do all kinds of fun things if you had PAMS and uh, maybe some. I'm always in the in the mood for a divider. <laughs> I like dividers, multipliers. that story on Muff Wiggler. <laughs> that is a fun story. Uh, it, it, it's all true. And uh, my buddy Dave, to this day, every time I see him, we talk about that show. <laughs> oh man, that was ridiculous.
what does the PO33 do?
bit of an impulse, but basically I got into and a BCB rack uh, because I wanted to start making new age music. Uh, and I wanted to start a tape label. And I quickly gave up that idea. <laughs> I would rather buy tapes than sell tapes. Um, so after a couple weeks of VCB rack, I quickly realized that I needed um, I need tangibility in my life. So I bought a Mother 32. And then I bought a tip-top case.
no singularity suit. I got kind of, uh, I'm a little overloaded <laughs> with current events. I don't, uh, uh, I haven't been really following the TikTok thing, mostly because I, I don't tick, nor do I talk.
guess uh, I, I just have never, I, I never, I never got it. I'm too old. tell you though, watching the TikTok kids, um, you know, doing their thing in real life is, is pretty freaky. You know, they're just like kind of holding up the phones and lip syncing along with something that you, you really can't hear. It's really weird. Um, I was kind of tripping out on it, actually. <laughs>
think it might be bleep temple time. So um, thanks for being here. Um, we'll see you all um, on Sunday, if not sooner.